question is from ID number inner awakening ID number five Ziva Fishman, who's asking according to the Upanishad, we are not the doer. Where do we where we do our job at work? According to the Upanishad, we are not the doer where we do our job at work. How can we detach ourselves from the doing and just work as a service for the world that God created? If I don't suppose to have desire to succeed with my business and have pride, what will get me motivated of doing it? And how can I detach myself from this desire to be successful? I'll read the question. Ziva Fishman. According to the Upanishads, we are not the doer. Where we do our job at work, how can we detach ourselves from the doing and just work as a service for the world that God created? If I don't suppose to have a desire to succeed with my business and have pride, what will get me, get me motivated of doing it? How can I detach myself from this desire to be successful? Ziva, I think just now I answered your whole question. May know number five, Ziva Fishman. Oh, he's not. Oh, it's okay. Please, please be seated. Okay. Your question, according to the Upanishad, we are not the doer. Where we do our job at work, how can we detach ourselves? Please, I wanted you to understand the first statement you made, according to the Upanishads, we are not doer. You need to understand that more. You will understand that statement only after the completion process. Only after the completion process you will understand all this while you were not the doer, your incompletions were the doers. Your incompletions were making you do what you were doing. When Upanishads say that you are not the doer, they mean your incompletions are the doer. But unfortunately people started thinking, God is the doer. No. When you are told you are not the doer, the doer is the wrong person. Not the doer is the right person. It is so unfortunate. One guy asked his friend, are you not wearing your wedding ring? The right finger, why are you wearing the wedding ring in the wrong finger? The guy replied, yes, I am married to the wrong woman. <laughs> no, really you have a wrong understanding. It is so unfortunate, when Upanishads say you are not the doer, Complete who thinks is the doer. Destroy the doer. But un unfortunately, you start thinking God is the doer. No. So you need to understand, Ziva, this statement of Upanishad much deeper. Neither you are the doer, nor God is the doer, because you are God. Your incompletions are the doer. So complete, let your incompletions, which were doers, let that die, then you will understand you have a great zeal to be successful in enriching. Now, as long as you feel you are the doer, means your incompletions are making you believe you are the doer, 
you will not have success in anything you do and you will not be able to detach from the doer and even if you try to detach from the doer you will only fall into depression you will not have any motivation to do anything else please understand the complications involved in this whole situation you are describing first thing you can't detach yourself from doing the doer is incompletion your incompletions are the doer please understand your incompletions are so powerful not only it does but it puts you in suffering for all his actions completion is such it gets all the pleasures but makes you enjoy the results understand incompletion is such it does all the crime it pushes you to do all the wrong things but puts you in suffering it doesn't take responsibility completion is such it makes you do all the good but gives you the benefits incompletion does not trust even itself incompletion has deep doubt about itself and incompletion always lead to more and more complications siva your whole question will be answered on its own if you enter even little bit into completion sometime even the surety about surety of incompletion leads you to more problem you see incompletions sometime will be so sure it leads to more incompletions in a, in the incompletion moment if you strongly believe this disease is going to come to you you will see that incompletion brings the disease i have a story there was a trial happening in the court for murder a defendant was on trial for murder there was a strong evidence indicating guilt but there was no corpse in the law the dead body is very important corpse is very important to prosecute the defense's closing statement the lawyer liar knowing that his client would probably be convicted resorted to a trick he started he resorted to a trick saying that ladies and gentlemen of the jury i have a surprise for you all the liar said as he looked at his watch he said within one minute the person you all presumed dead in this case will walk into this court room he declared he looked towards the court room door the jurors shocked stunned all looked on eagerly all of them were looking at the door a minute passed nothing happened finally the lawyer said actually i made up this previous statement but you all looked on with anticipation i therefore tell you all that you have a considerable doubt 
a reasonable doubt in this case as to whether anyone was killed at all and insists that you return a verdict of not guilty. The jury clearly got confused. They retired to deliberate. Few minutes later, the jury returned and pronounced the verdict of guilty. Lawyer asked, how? But how can you say? You must have had some doubt. I saw all of you stare at the door. The jury foreman replied, yes, we all looked at the door. No doubt, but your client did not. <laughs> Sometime, the surety, sureness of your incompletion itself puts you in more problem. Let you all achieve, experience, live, express, radiate, share and explode in eternal bliss. Nityananda Nityananda Dhyana Peetam Nityananda Nagar Off Mysore Road Bidadi Bengaluru Phone 08027279999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com slash lifebliss